Make it three straight Big Ten tournament championships for Iowa women's basketball. The Hawkeyes beat Nebraska 94-89 in overtime for their latest title yesterday. Caitlin Clark, 30 of her 34 points in the second half in overtime as Iowa overcame an eight-point deficit with just over two minutes to play in the second half to force the overtime. Our big stat brought to you by Gatorade. The three straight tourney titles for the Hawks matches the all-time Big Ten record held by several other schools. Maryland, the most recent to do it, a run that ended seven years ago. Ohio State and Purdue, as you can see, the other two on the list. And that gets us to today's big interview. And as promised, we have the head coach of the Hawkeyes, Lisa Bluter, here with us. And Coach, congratulations. Thanks for taking the time out during what I know is a really busy time. Look, I know all of these are special. You're not giving any of them back. But years from now, what will you remember most about this particular tourney run? Yeah, thanks for having me, Dave. I, you know, I think it definitely was the way that we were down eight with two and a half minutes. And our team just kept believing and kept fighting down to the last second of that game. And so, you know, Nebraska is a really good basketball team and deserves a really great seed in the NCAA tournament. Uh, but just the fortitude of our players yesterday was really something that was amazing. Yeah, take me inside that mindset. So I don't know if you're a big metrics person or not, but the, the metrics said you had a win probability of less than 1% at that point. Now, the one thing I would say is I don't think the algorithm accounts for Caitlin Clark. Like, I don't think they factored, <laughs> I don't think they factored her greatness into that. But still, like... At that moment, like what what was the what's the message? What are you thinking? Kind of what what gave your team the ability to come back from something so mathematically improbable as this? Yeah, they you're right. They don't factor in Caitlin Clark, but <laughs> a lot of people have told me about that one percent uh, opportunity to win that game, and I just shake my head because they don't know about Caitlin. They don't understand this team and and how we believe in each other so much and. I mean, honestly, that wasn't our thought. Like, when we got down eight, and, and actually they had the ball at that point, we got to stop. Caitlin comes out, hits a three. We're down five now with two and a half. And to me, it's it's a whole new game at that point. We call a timeout. And during that timeout, we're just talking about, you know, let's get a stop. Let's get a stop. And that's exactly what we did. Gabby Marshall's defense down the line was uh, absolutely incredible. That uh, block was amazing. Uh, just oh. big. Big, big picture on this tournament before we leave yesterday and kind of move on to some other topics. When you see the buzz around this tournament this week, and, and like, let's just be honest, most of it is, or much of it is, is around your team. I don't want to say most of it, but a significant percentage is about you guys, is about Caitlin. But this league has elevated too, and, and there's just so much excitement. When you see all of that, and you think about the journey that you've been on coaching this game for 40 years, what goes through your mind? Uh, first of all, Dave, I got to go back to that block because I'm telling you, Gabby Marshall, how many times <laughs> do people block a shot and it goes out of bounds and it's still yeah. the other team's yes. ball? Yes. But she blocked the shot and got it, and that gave us that possession. That was just an amazing play. So I got to go back to that because I know you showed the clip. But, you know, the excitement around our program, and I, I honestly – the Big Ten Network has been so good for our conference and for us. You know, we were playing really good basketball for a lot of years, and nobody really knew about us. But the Big Ten Network really exposed the quality of the game. And so I really credit television exposure and the Big Ten Network just being in front of everybody else and getting a national, you know, television, um, a national station. So um, the Hawkeye fans are just elevated it to another level as well. Uh, just their support. I mean, when we're selling out the the Target Center, in addition to Carver Hawkeye Arena, in addition to getting 56,000 people in Kinnick Stadium at the beginning of the year, you know there's something special going on, and people are falling in love with this team. They're falling in love with the quality of play, the style of play, Caitlin Clark, of course, but also Big Ten women's basketball. It, it is at an all-time high. We have so many quality teams in this league and that's what makes it exciting. Nobody likes it when it's a one-horse show. And, and this league has just elevated itself, and that's what makes it so fun to go out and play every night. No doubt. And as everyone watching probably knows, it was actually Ohio State, which, of course, won the, the regular season in the Big Ten. We've seen Indiana have some great teams. So it, it has not 
solely been Iowa, but Caitlin has elevated oh, no. it, and your team has elevated it here in recent years. And, and I know you're not done coaching her, and, and you hope you get you know, six more games coaching her here. But I do want to reflect a little bit with you, just because I may not have the, the chance to talk to you about her again. She is so immensely talented, but what other traits does she have that you think have made her into the player that she is? Well, again, like you said, she can do things that other people can't do. There, there's nobody in the country that shoots like Caitlin does. Right. There's nobody that has that range. And then when you add to it her passing ability and that she leads the country in assists, and nobody, they, you know, people don't, they forget about that. And that's so unfair because her passing, her vision of the court is incredible. Here she is getting a steal at the end of the game. You know, it's not always known for her defense, but it was a pretty darn good steal she got at the end of that game. Um, but, you know, it's also her personality. It, it's her infectious passion for the game, her will to win, her competitiveness that, you know, people admire that. And, and it doesn't hurt now, you know, being in State Farm commercials and having these NIL yeah. deals where people see her outside of the basketball court and get to see her personality and how fun that is. Yeah, we had her on last week, and she was unbelievable. And one of the things I asked her was kind of, was there a moment where she realized, like, hey, this isn't normal, and this is this has changed. And so I kind of want to ask you the, the same question. So she is, like, for, for those who don't follow women's basketball recruiting, I mean, she's a top five recruit. She's a five-star player. Everyone knew she was going to be really good. But at what point did you kind of come to realize, wow, she is a transformational player? Like, this is different than some of the other great players that you've had, and you have had great players. But this is different. I think yeah. we all acknowledge this is different. So when did you know it was different? Yeah, I mean, we knew she was a great player coming out of high school. Everybody knew that. Right. That's why she's been recruited across the country. You always think, you know, this player is going to be really great, but nobody, and I don't care, you know, I wish I could say, oh, yeah, I, I knew she was going to be this great. Nobody can ever, ever, um, you know, look into a crystal ball and see that. I think I recognized it her freshman year in the NCAA tournament when we beat Kentucky to go to the Sweet 16. Uh, then after that, faced UConn, uh, and she was named the National Co-Freshman of the Year along with Paige Beckers. To me, that's when it, it really occurred to me that this is something special. Yeah, and of course, Paige Beckers was the player who maybe had the most hype coming out of high school, and obviously, unfortunately, has battled a lot of injuries, but she was going to UConn mm -hmm. and kind of went to that traditional powerhouse program. Mm -hmm. Caitlin went to a really, really, really good program, but stayed home, right? And, and so that was, that was part of the difference, and maybe not the same hype coming out. It's been incredible to be along on this ride, and one of the things that I think is really special, and I'm interested in your perspective on this, is that she is a home state kid. And for you, you know, someone who went to high school in Iowa, went to college in Iowa, you've had three coaching jobs, they've all been in Iowa. I mean, Iowa is in your blood too. What's it been like to see the way the state has rallied around her and the way that it has brought attention to your state? Yeah, uh, you're right. Uh, we're both Iowa girls for sure. And a lot of them on our staff as well. But um, it just goes to show you that you don't have to go to one of those storied programs to have the success that you want if you believe in yourself. You know, if you find the right program, you know, that is going to, you know, highlight your skills and you can do it wearing your home state uniform and have this kind of amazing fan support. I mean, Iowans love Caitlin Clark. They love our team. It's not just Caitlin Clark. They love our team. Right. So uh, it, it's... Um, it's been a journey, and I love sharing it with these Iowa Hawkeye fans. All right, well, Coach, I really, really appreciate your time. Thank you so much, and we look forward to watching the Hawkeyes here as you guys uh, try to make a run to the national championship. Lisa Bluter, thanks a lot.